Good morning. It is uh, Tuesday, March 12th. It is um, just after 10 in the morning. I woke up at 7 something, 7.50 something, which was already late, and I just decided to sleep in longer. Um, yeah, and I'm going to do that all week. Uh, it was also, I mean, you can see my breath. Um, it was zero degrees, and now it's like one degree. Uh, anywho, I got up when I was ready. That's it. Um, I'm going to have this coffee. I'm going to have a bite to eat. I'm not going to have the oatmeal that I brought for, for breakfast. <clears throat> I don't know. Ever since I saw these in the uh, suitcase of stuff, I was like, mm, so I'm going to have this for breakfast. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then I will pack my backpack with all of the empty water bottles up there. And that's it. I will go to my car, go into town, get some stuff for dinner, to, you know, add-ons for dinner. Um, fill my backpack with a bunch of stuff from my car. Oh, I'm gonna buy garbage bags in town. That's really the only thing around the cabin that I need. <clears throat> um, hike back in, fill uh, all the water bottles, and then come here for another wonderful and relaxing evening of just making dinner and staring out this window. Um, yeah, if it's still snowing and windy, I'll, I'll probably just be mostly staying indoors again, which is just fine. If you think I'm unhappy about that, you are wrong. <laughs> um, I never get to do nothing. And what a setting to do nothing in. And I, yeah, like I'm enjoying doing nothing. That's also a challenge for me. So I'm just gonna ride this wave until, yeah, I know eventually I, I'll get to the point as well where I'm like, you know what, it's time to go. So that's fine too. But right now I'm nowhere close to that point. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this coffee, have a bite and I get out of here. And brush my hair and teeth. It is 11.51, I've got my empty backpack, well, full of empty bottles on my back. Um, I'm gonna try and be a little quicker than I was coming in. Well, I should with an empty backpack. I don't know, we'll see. Um, yep, to town and back, let's go. Right, it is four o'clock. Um, I've got my backpack full of stuff. I stopped by Wayne's house and I, I picked up a load of my stuff. I stopped by the grocery store to get some berries for breakfast to add to my oatmeal and some stuff for a salad for tonight's dinner. Uh, let's hike back to the cabin and see what is in this backpack full of surprises. <laughs>
So the plan is to shingle this at some point. It has not been shingled. So I brought back, yeah, four liters of water. I've treated it and I'm just going to store it here. Every trip in, I'm gonna bring four liters that I'm not going to use uh, and just uh, store and accumulate. I brought these two. Um, I've treated those, so I'm just waiting the half hour. And then I've got this smaller one that I will replenish um, if, I, if I do end up taking anything from that. This is thus far untreated because it's less than one liter and the tablets are made for one liter. Uh, I brought some pens. I brought some garbage bags from my car, raspberries for um, oatmeal in the morning. Uh, this to add, I have some uh, leftover coleslaw, <laughs> leftover coleslaw in there. So that's for that. And um, yeah, I'll make a salad out of that. Maybe I'll add some of these turkey flakes. I don't know. Huh. I got those at the dollar store. They were in the, uh, they were in the uh, suitcase. We'll see. That could be interesting. Stevia sweetener, a bottle of wine, some gloves and a hat. four candles, an umbrella, a painting my sister Nicole made for me and gave to me in 2002, a back scratcher because I had two at home and I only need one, a large tarp so that instead of using those two small ones and having to fold the futon mattress up, I can just leave it out and uh, yeah, cover it with that. And last but not least, the heat powered wood stove fan to circulate the warm air. Even though last night was pretty uh, toasty in here, I'm sure this will make it even toastier. It is 6.35, so it is one hour until uh, sundown. So I'm going to start a fire uh, and I'm going to make dinner. But first, I'm going to make myself a Christina's Cabin Coffee. Yeah, I lugged in the uh, wine. No wine opener. I was going to have my mom's uh, spaghetti and meatballs with, with wine. But yeah, I'll have to rethink what I'm going to have for dinner. But I do not have to rethink the fact that I would like a Christina's Cabin Coffee. So let's make that. By the way, yeah, I bought this big thing of... Uh, egg whites before coming here. I've just been like chugging it <laughs> every now and then throughout the day. So just added protein. Yeah. Uh, basically, you know, your refrigerator is, I think like four to six degrees and that's basically what it is in this cabin. So yeah, that is just fine. All of my vegetables and everything, they're just fine. Um, I did put the egg whites out on the back porch overnight last night, like, or when I had the fire going, but yeah, there's really there's really no worries. I am basically living inside of a refrigerator. Uh, I did not have a fire this morning to conserve firewood, uh, but I'm gonna have a fire now. So coffee, fire, BRB. So in case you did not see my um, my video where I spent a week here over Christmas. It was so cold. Uh, yeah, Christina's Cabin Coffee is uh, coffee, whiskey. I used eggnog spice, um, but it would be better if you obviously had eggnog. So eggnog spice and uh, skim milk powder. So skim milk powder is cold water soluble. So you have to make it separately. Quarter cup makes one cup. No. Yeah. 
In the summer, the sunset is directly in the middle of these bay windows, but at this time of the year, it's over there somewhere. All right. Yummy. <laughs> mm. But I feel like it confuses my body. It doesn't know whether it should be like chilling or coming alive. But it's delicious. So since I ate this whole bag of carrots um, basically as my appetizer or salad, I'm just going to get right to dinner and I think I'm going to have my homemade vegan coconut curry lentil stew, 129 grams. So yesterday the meal I made was like 152 grams or something, which was too much. So this should be perfect. I did do two hikes today. Anyway, if I'm still hungry afterward, I can make myself the, the salad that I'm skipping now. So, yeah. Let's boil some more water. Should I boil enough to make a second Christina's Cabin Coffee? I think I shall. I think I shall. Okay, so that one.
smells so good. I would just like to say that <clears throat> this is amazing. Like I had a nice sleep in, I got up, I made myself a nice hot coffee. I hiked an hour out of here, you know, went and visited Wayne. He, he actually like pumped up my tires because uh, the air pressure was low, especially in one of them, but all of them, um, you know, so had a nice visit with Wayne, went to the grocery store, picked up like a couple of provisions, nothing much, didn't need much, hiked back in, you know, got water from the creek, came here, cut wood, made dinner, you know, started a fire and that's your whole day. Like that takes up the whole day. And now I just get to enjoy, you know, the last bit of daylight as I relax. I couldn't be happier. And I'm gonna do that again tomorrow and the next day and the next day, five days in a row, possibly six. Yeah. That's what I love about this cabin. It's like the utter simplicity, you know, it takes up your day just to go and yeah, gather wood, cut it up, start the fire, get your food, gather water. Yeah. All in front of like, yeah, this beautiful view of the ocean. Anyway, there is a magic. Yeah, there's magic here. Anywho, time to eat my dinner. <clears throat> so, I don't know where I'm supposed to be looking. That fan is working so well that I, I have my coat off. I kept my coat on all last night until I went to bed. Um, oh my God, this is just so great. Yeah, my coat is off. Like I could probably, I've got two, I've got a merino wool short sleeve t-shirt, a merino wool long sleeve t-shirt, and then this merino wool like, like third layer. Yeah, I might even take off the third layer. So yeah, the fan is working. I mean, I knew it would. My brother heats his home uh, with a wood stove. So um, I always knew that I should bring one, but I guess I got to experience how much of a difference it makes. Yeah, this is so great. Dinner is so great, by the way. Mm -mm -mm.
What a difference, not a breath of wind. It is just so calm and still and silent. It is Thursday, March 14th. Uh, I didn't do much filming yesterday. I didn't leave the cabin. I just beachcombed and hung out and um, sat outside. Anyway, I had a really lovely day. Uh, it was nice and sunny. Uh, but yeah, t this, today I'm hiking into town now. Um, I'm gonna have a shower, <laughs> finally, at uh, Wayne's sister's house, visit Wayne. Um, get a bottle opener for that bottle of wine I lugged in. Uh, little things like that, uh, but mostly, you know, I do this for the for the hike, for the exercise. So, um, yeah, it is a beautiful day. Um, yeah, so let's continue hiking. So this section of the beach is called the fallover, uh, obviously because there's a lot of um, boulders and debris and scree that have, you know, tumbled down, or do they call it the tumble down? Whatever. Um, and this is also the, lo the location where in, in the year 2000, a couple from Montreal fell over right here. And then they were discovered the next day by some dulse pickers. The uh, husband survived and the wife did not. So yeah, you gotta be really careful um, when you're on the edge here because yeah, there's erosion and you don't know how thin the ground you're standing on is. For example, where I am right now, <laughs> I am right on the edge and it is a long, 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 long way down. So you gotta be careful. Look at those, these are massive, massive, wow. There's another one even bigger. It's like probably three of, yeah, three of my hands large. This is, uh, I believe this is, um, no. I was gonna say it's Iceman fungus or a horse hoof fungus, but no, it's not. I don't know what this is. If you know, look at the colors. So beautiful. I just stopped at the creek to fill two four liter bottles and two one liter bottles. So I am now carrying 10 liters of water. Oh my God, I am a mule. Anywho, not much further now to the cabin. Thankfully, this water source is very close to the cabin. I am stocking up as much water as possible um, so that it's there for whoever happens by or the next time I'm by. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's heavy. All right.
right. Here we go again. All the way down. Down, down, down. And there is the cabin. thermometer above my bed like it is hot in here hot and I checked the thermometer above my bed and it's 23 degrees over there so it's like even hotter over there of course the push-ups help but they would not change the uh, thermometer so yeah super toasty I might do one or two more sets of push-ups and then it's time for bed and then tomorrow will be my last day and night at the cabin. So, yeah. It's gone by so quickly. And it's been so incredible and awesome and peaceful. And yeah, I can't chill like this unless I'm hanging out with my dad. I guess, or any family, unless I'm hanging out with my family or yeah, if I'm here. <sighs> okay, more push-ups. I have to get caught up. Stay at the cabin.
Last morning at the cabin. Time to clean up and hike out. But first, coffee. So it is Friday, March 16th, 2024. Uh, this is my fifth consecutive day here at the cabin. Um, I did walk into town on Tuesday and back and Thursday and back. Um, but I stayed put here Wednesday and Friday. Oh, sorry. This is my sixth day. <clears throat> I spent five nights. Uh, yeah, so I'll be hiking out today. So that'll be six trips total. Came in on Monday, out and back Tuesday, out and back Thursday, and then out today, yeah. Um, it's two degrees. I didn't even start a fire last night. I, I nestled into bed early and it just was warm enough, maybe because I'd been inside all day. I was like, you know what? <sighs> and I just, yeah, slept long and late. And yeah, this cabin allows me to relax in a way that I'm not able to anywhere else in my life. Yeah, it's really nice. Anywho, so yeah, I'll be packing up as much as I can into the suitcase. All the, I'll leave these food items there non-perishable so and even yeah the skim milk powder um and the coffee everything i'll just put it as much as i can into the suitcase um i i cleaned out the the stove of all the um soot and ash and whatever that was building up um and that's pretty much it oh yeah pack up the bed yeah, it's a pretty quick uh, turnaround to, to arrive and to leave. So that's another bonus. Yeah. I guess I'll take the, uh, the 3.30 ferry. And that'll give me a day and a half to do the 13-hour uh, the drive from Blacks Harbor back to Toronto. Um... Yeah. I've left 12 liters of water. So, yeah. <clears throat> I don't want to leave.
It is quarter after 10. Uh, there's not much left to do now. I think I'm just going to have one more uh, meal, uh, some noodles, um, and then get going. Well, everything is packed up and cleaned up and I'm ready to go. If anyone were to ever wash up on shore like Billy and Floyd Jones, they would have a safe haven here. Nice bed, wood ready for the fire. There's some um, oatmeal packets in there some purified water, candles galore, plus I brought all these extra candles ready to go. Unfortunately, all those wine bottles are empty, but that's okay. People can survive without wine, can't they? It is 11.04. I am leaving now. Arthur is so sweet. He just called me. He's like, are you on this boat? The boat that left at 11. And I'm like, nope, I'm still here in the cabin. So I'll be taking the 3.30 boat. Hopefully I can uh, see Arthur before I get on that. Of course, I'll go and see Wayne. Um, I had invited my friend Lita, who, who lives here on Grand Manan. She's also from Toronto, to come for a night uh, during this week. But uh, she was busy working. So we'll try again next time. Hi, Lita, if you're watching. And of course, yeah, didn't get to see Mireille. Um, but that's okay, because I will be back. And yeah. I'll be back, that's it. <laughs> Bye, little cabin. I love you. Until next time. Almost there. Oh, I made it. All right. And here's my favorite tree with the roots. Bye, amazing tree. See you next time.
sun is coming out, the fog is lifting. It's a really nice time to be walking through the forest. There's that sort of gray mist over everything. It makes it, makes it feel even more magical than a forest already does. And it's a really nice way to exit and to remember. Yeah, this walk out and yeah, an extra boost, not that I need it, uh, to help me look forward to the next time I walk in. I just don't know when that will be, but uh, yeah, I sure do love it here. I am at my favorite spot on this hike. Uh, coming back from the cabin, this is just over half, halfway to my car. And if I was coming from my car, it's almost halfway to the cabin. So there's this nice little bench. I'm gonna sit there, this awesome sign. And yeah, you can't see a thing. Oh, is that a little rainbow? Hmm. I'm waiting for one more foghorn, then I'll sit and have some sugar, ugh, sugar snap peas. <laughs> Can't talk. So there is a diversion on the red trail now because I don't know if someone built a house or something um, on this next part, but this sign is so red trail to Indian beach trail clearly marked. Do not leave trail. And then I don't know if you can see it. It says, do not even dare to think about it. Isn't that friendly? There's my little car.
Brown's Cove. Good friends, good wine, good life. Thank you, Arthur. Bye, Arthur. I know you wouldn't let me take a selfie, but I know you love me.